Well, I think Charlotte's in a great spot. I, this is one of those trades, and I hate when when trades are kind of portrayed as both teams won, but I think they really did because you had two quarterbacks at Charlotte last year. Justin Ward was a young kid, and I think for his development as a superstar, he can't be on the same team as Matt Donowski. Matt Donowski kind of demands the ball. He's a quarterback. He's another coach on the field. Justin Ward is a true quarterback-type player. He needs the ball behind. It has to be his offense. The ball needs to run through him. So I think Charlotte and their coaching staff probably saw a lot more than the general person who's following the MLL in Justin Ward, whether it's in practices, spurts in games, day in and day out. I think they're really comfortable handing the keys uh, to that offense to Justin Ward. And you look at his production over the few years at Loyola, uh, national title winner as a sophomore, he was a great player with Lusby and Sawyer. He was the quarterback of that offense. His last two years, tremendous vision. Doesn't need to go to the rack, although he is very good at dodging. He sets up players. He's a fantastic passer. So I think this kid is a lot better than the general public thinks. Uh, he will run that offense, and he'll do it uh, in a fantastic fashion. I think, though, for, for Charlotte with this third pick, I'll be really interested to see where they go with it. Uh, you can't go after... Uh, Lyle Thompson, obviously, he'll be gone with the first pick in the draft. You don't want another quarterback and a guy like Kevin Rice. I think, you know, you have to figure out what's Mike Sawyer's role. Is he a guy that's just going to be an extra man guy? Or do you go after maybe a Westberg or a guy like Randy Stotts? Right-handed shooters that can play with Justin Ward, can create their shots off of quick passing, something that... Uh, Mike Sawyer doesn't do at an elite level. He's obviously a fantastic time and room shooter. But I think that this offense has a, a choice. Do you go after that righty type of, of shooter in a Wesley Berg or Randy Stotts? Or do you go after a big-time alpha male midfielder in a guy like uh, Connor Busick out of Cornell? Because you have Chan and Chuck, and then you have a ton of two-way middies. Trapuca uh, is, a, is a great two-way guy. A uh, Hoffs can play both ends. Um, Josh Hawkins. So you have all these guys, but who's your real offensive stud? Maybe outside of Chanichuk, who we still have to see a little bit more from, from the midfield. So it, it's either go after Connor Busick or establish the fact that you want a big-time righty shooter uh, in, in a guy like Wesley Berg or Randy Stotts, because the left side, you have that horse in uh, Garrett Thule.